Now, Daniele Pagani, our Bureau Chief from West Asia, joins us live from Amman, Jordan. Good evening to you, Daniele. Tensions continue to escalate in the Gaza region. The violence is continuing even after the Egyptian brokered ceasefire yesterday. What is the latest? As of now, uh, the calm is reigning over Gaza and over the southern part of Israel, which has been the most affected area in Israel uh, in these latest clash between the Israeli Defense Forces and missiles launched from the Gaza Strip. The things remain, as always, very fragile and things are very fluid. The Israeli Defense Forces enhanced their presence on the border. This means that they sent additional tanks, soldiers, and also the Israeli Chief of Staff recalled some reserves, which Israel which is a measure that Israel takes in dangerous times. It means that all those Israelis who can be called back into uniform have been called back. But as of now, the calm is reigning. An Egyptian intelligence team is currently in Gaza talking to Hamas and convincing all the Palestinian factions to avoid any further escalation. Nobody needs a war, and also the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, does not need a war and does not need any further escalation. He is being held, so to say, politically hostage from the right wing, which is requesting him to act more vigorously. But he he also doesn't want to drag his country into a war just a couple of weeks before the national elections. So then the ceasefire negotiations are continuing between Israel and uh, Hamas. And uh, yes, you mentioned the elections are just about two weeks. Do you think this will cause additional pressure in the region? Of course, the proximity of the date of the election is playing an important role in any of the crises which will happen between Gaza and Israel. Hopefully this will be the last one, but we never know. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister needs the Israeli right wing on board. That is the political part that he is courting in order to try to win for the fifth time the term as a Prime Minister. But it is the right wing in Israel that is requesting him to ask to act more vigorously and more violently. Therefore, so to say, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is under a lot of pressure. Just saying that in the aftermath of the first rockets launched by Hamas, hundreds of people in the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon protested against Netanyahu, judging his attitude too soft, too tolerant when it comes to the crisis. And this is the very vote bank that Netanyahu needs. So uh, as long as the ceasefire stays in place, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu does not need to take any decision or any action. And this is what will benefit him. Thank you for that report. Uh, our West Asia Bureau Chief, Daniele Picani, joining us on the latest on the tensions in...